Hello, welcome back to ATS, American Truck Simulator and Heavy Haul series on Wolfgang Tail Chase and uh, this is the last load. No more. This is the last heavy load that exists in, apparently, because I can't find any other. Unless there are some that is not displayed right now. But uh, this is a wind turbine blade. Uh, it's pretty big. And uh, we're going from Pueblo to uh, Kansas City, I think it was. And uh, it's probably going to be a two-parter series, this one. Because um, it's a long load. And I'm um, going to keep an eye on the clock here. I want it to be maybe 15, 20 minutes long. Well, anyway, uh, we, we left off in my uh, story in the last episode. That was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, when I was arriving into uh, Las Vegas. And uh, the reason why it took so long is because I've gotten a new computer. And it took me some time to set everything up. I wanted to do the flight sim. Well, yeah, you, I hate that thing <laughs> okay focus you want me to focus that, that is a little bit too uh, ambitious i think well just keep an eye on the car and the car at least can you have, please have a little more light so i can see him better his back lights are very small well uh i uh finished my story when uh as i was driving into las vegas and um, uh, I don't think I have any lights on. There we go. Look at that. Now I see better. Um, I uh, I booked a room at uh, New York, New York. I just thought it was funny. Uh, and I will come to one of the reasons a little bit later. So uh, the first thing I do is I walk in and I met with by this absolutely massive casino. There are slot machines and things absolutely everywhere. And uh, I'm looking around to find a check-in disc. And I can't find it, there is nothing. And I start looking, I see signs and they're pointing to elevators and they're pointing to the roller coaster. And uh, they're pointing to different hotels, but I'm just walking around. And, and I actually have to ask somebody, where is the reception? And he says, oh, you walk that way and you just follow this line on the floor and you get there. I'm like, oh, there's a line on the floor. Okay. And I walk and you come up to this uh, reception desk, who's probably like a hundred meters long or something like that. I'm exaggerating, but maybe 30, 40 meters long. And uh, there are tons of people checking in. Every single queue is full with probably 20 or 30 people in each. And I woke up and I stand in line and uh, just woke up to a line and the guy comes up to me and say that uh, this line is full. And I'm like, what? Full? Everything is full here. Yeah, you have to come back in like an hour. An hour? What am I going to do in an hour? He said, you can go to the casino. I was like, uh, I want to check in. I've been driving all day. I'm tired. I want to go up to my room, leave my stuff. And uh, check-in time is at 3 and, and the time was like eight in eight seven eight or something like that and he says yeah but all the queues are full now so you can't uh, check in right now uh, like huh so i just started walking around i look in i started looking for a place to eat that i can go down to later and i don't like a lot of places so i walk around and hello smile you uh, uh, i yep <laughs> standing in front of me here now so i'm having trouble seeing the road um and uh, after a while I get bored and I go back and for about 20 minutes later and I see that one of the queues have a little less uh, people so I just sneak up into it try to avoid being seen by that uh, grumpy guy and uh, it takes me about 20 more minutes and I check in and I get my key and then it's about time to find the elevator which also takes a while there are several like towers that you have to go in and I got to my room it's like the 25th floor with a really nice view and I leave my bag and I sit down and just relax a little bit on the bed. And all of a sudden I hear this rumble. I'm like, what the hell? Are there, is there a building site or something like that? And I look out the window. And maybe 10 floors below me or something like that. <laughs> there's, there's the roller coaster. 
just outside the window like I'm like oh I'm glad I'm not on that floor imagine having the roller coaster right outside your your window and um, and uh, well um, settling in I uh, I'm really tired so I go and take a shower and uh, then I'll go down and uh, go to a restaurant and I get something to eat and I'm immediately jumped by one of those salesmen that want to sell you a card for gambling a card that you can charge money on and you, they say that it's really good because you have your winnings and everything on that card and I'm like no I'm not gonna gamble he looks at me like I'm some kind of alien like I'm like you're in Las Vegas you're not gonna gamble no I'm not I'm not here for gambling and uh, so I just walk away and uh, I say and a lot because it, there is a lot of and that's actually bird in Swedish an and and like a mallard that's an and you're off topic now yeah I know and uh, and and stop saying and okay I will stop saying and and <laughs> sorry uh, I just had to I walk up um, uh, and one the one one reason I chose this hotel was because I had seen on the web uh, on the page for it that it actually had washing machines that the guests could use so I walked to the reception again and now there's completely empty there's not a single soul at the reception and so I walk up and I ask hello uh, I, I I heard that there was like uh, you could wash your clothes and things like that and they say uh, and that's on the you go where in which tower are you staying like um, this room in this tower okay and that's just uh, two floors down and uh, floor 23 and there's a sign you can go there oh okay thank you and so I think okay I'll do that tomorrow and because it was getting pretty late uh, and I had already, actually, when I was in San Francisco, I'd already looked and I had booked a show that started at 9. And the, the time was like maybe, yeah, around 8. So I hurry over to this other hotel that where the show is. I really don't know why I booked the show uh, the day I came there, but they, it was actually... Uh, the only time I could go. Uh, I want to I want to see it was David Copperfield so I went to this David Copperfield show I was seated at a table and uh, I looked at the show and of course it's, it's just it's fun to see I don't see it as he's like a magician I see it as him be entertaining and he was very entertaining he did, he did a lot of cool stuff uh, and after that I go back to my hotel room and I'm so tired so I just go to sleep I wake up in the morning and go down for breakfast, which was not included in the price, so you have to pay for it. I just take a, so I just took a sandwich and some apple, some orange juice, I think, at a, at a like a the place, side the hotel, and then I walk out and I thought, I'm gonna go on the the monorail that you have, and I started walking around and I have I have a map and I started looking for this monorail and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking and I was like. Where is this monorail? I when I'm walking along the strip and there's no sign of it, there's no and all of a sudden I walk and I see a um, a sign pointing towards the monorail. And I start walking at it and all of a sudden there's no signs anymore. And it's like, where? Where is the monorail? And I start walking around and I'm inside this another hotel and I'm walking around there and I'm looking and after a while I finally find find it. And the thing with this monorail is that it's the hotels that uh, have it. And the queue was absolutely massive. I went there, I must have went there when a lot of people came because uh, I asked uh, like how long the queue was and they said that uh, that it probably couldn't be on the next one but the one after that. So uh, I do that and I uh, I go on the monorail and it's like yeah it was a little bit more modern than the one in Seattle but it's still a monorail and it's not it's it's a tourist trap it's not a viable public transportation 
it just goes between the big hotels. Doesn't connect any real meaningful stuff. So you just, I just walk, I just went on it. And after that, I started walking around, looking at some stuff, taking pictures, walking, looking at the fountain and uh, a lot of other stuff. I will smile if you heard some weird sound in the background. Having fun with the uh, hamster. Uh, not eating it and just jumping up on the uh, on the cage yeah so uh, uh, in Vegas if you're not gambling there is one other thing you can do that is go to sh see sh shows and uh, there's that and again I wore I ch checked which uh, different shows there was. There was a couple of the one that I was in uh, the, the day before. Uh, by looking at all the all the shows that were the, that day, because I was just there for two nights. I was gonna leave the next day. There was... everything was sold out. There was not a single ticket for a show on the second day I was there. Nothing. Everything was completely sold out. It was like, okay, what am I going to do? I'm not going, I don't want to gamble. And uh, I don't want to... That. So I just spent my whole day and whole evening just walking around. Being petrified of the... Uh, how uh, this, how the strip where you first go there and you think, oh, this strip, the famous road. Yeah, it's a road. It's a strode. It's a... Eight, ten, ten lane, massive highway <laughs> through the center of of a lot of hotels. So uh, I started like investigating the hotels. I walked into hotels and I walked around in all the hotels and just checked it out, different things. You know what I should have done when talking to this? I should have prepared photos. Yeah, well, it's too late for that now. <laughs> So I, um, and then in the evening I go to bed again and I wake up in the morning and I check up, I check out, I get my car and I drive away and now I'm gonna drive uh, towards the Grand Canyon. Yep, that's where I'm going next, the Grand Canyon. And I also thought about going and seeing the Hoover Dam because it's a little bit outside of Las Vegas on, uh, on the way. So I start driving, and after a while I see this exit for the Hoover Dam, and I thought, yeah, I can. I have been looking at the maps, and you can see I can drive past it and then get down on the highway again. So I, uh, I go up to the Hoover Dam, and I park the car and I walk around a little bit and check it out. I didn't, ha I didn't want to spend too much time because uh, it was quite a long way to actually drive over, and I wanted to see the Grand Canyon as well. Because my itinerary was that I was just going to have one night there. And I had to continue. Should really have. If I get a chance, I'm going to go back there to Grand Canyon and maybe stay stay at least two nights. So I can have a whole day watching it. <coughs> so, um. I uh, turn off the road towards the uh, Hover Dam. As I said, I parked there. And then I continue on the road, and all of a sudden the road ends. It was like, what? The road is closed. So I had to go back all the way back to the first junction where I turned off and go back on the big highway there. You couldn't pass through. It was completely shut down. They said it was due to, due to them having a new bypass and like this new bridge. I made it that this uh, the old road over the dam was not in use anymore, so it's just uh, one dead end. Uh, and, after, and I continue driving, and after a while there is the exit for for the Grand Canyon. So I uh, or the Grand Canyon Village was where I had my hotel. So I uh, start going up there, and after a while I see these signs. On the side of the road, saying like six thousand, seven thousand, 
8,000, 9,000 with 100 between it. And I, but there can't be road markers because where are they counting from or to? Or, and all of a sudden I realized that it, it's um, uh, elevation. In, ah, my, ah, what happened there? Um, elevation in feet. So they passed 10,000 feet. I was up on 3,000 meters. <laughs> on almost 3,000 meters. 10,000 elevation in, in feet. And uh, at the top, and then I started going down a little bit to the to the village. And I'm um, actually going to stop this episode here, and uh, we'll continue in the next one. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hope to see you in the next episode.